Hi, my name's Elliot from Janssen's Hyundai. Today we're going to take a look at what life is like with an electric vehicle. So I've got with me today a Kona EV. It's a compact and stylish SUV. So come on, let's go and take a look. My favourite thing about this car is the Blue Link app. With this app, you can connect your phone to the car and you can send remote commands. You can lock the vehicle, you can unlock it. Um, really useful if you've gotten out of the car and you've walked away and thought, ah, have I locked the vehicle? Um, not only will the phone tell you that, you've not, that the vehicle's not locked, but you can check it from your phone and you can send a remote command to lock it as well. You can preheat the vehicle, you can cool it down as well. You've got your start climate control, First thing in the morning when it's freezing cold, you can turn on the climate control and warm the car up. You can put the heated seats on, you can put the heated steering wheel on, um, so that when you are getting in the car, it's, it's nice and warm and you're not spending 10 minutes defrosting the car every morning in the winter. Live vehicle location from the phone, so you can see where a vehicle is parked. So if you've parked up in a city center uh, and you're out and about for the day and you're unsure of the area, you can track back and find the vehicle yourself. Um, just a very useful app. It's just a great way to be connected to your car as well. So, let's take it out for a drive. A lot of electric vehicles on the market will typically have a 120 to 200 mile radius. When you start looking at 280, 290 mile, miles of range, it's a real peace of mind. This is a 65 kilowatt battery um, with a WLTP combined range of 315 miles. Range isn't a problem. If you were based in the Midlands, you could travel to London and back on a single charge. The, the inbuilt car sat nav will even demonstrate to you the, the mileage radius of where the vehicle can travel to. Most electric companies have their exclusive tariffs for EV vehicles, some from as little as 3.9 pence per kilowatt. So on a 65 kilowatt battery, you, you could charge the vehicle for under five pounds. So a 300 mile range for, for as little as five pounds. It's the quietness that gets me every time I get into an electric car. It, it just doesn't feel like you're driving at all, uh, which some people might disagree with, um, you know, if you're into your performance cars, but the, the, the torque on these motors um, is far better than any performance vehicle that I've ever driven. If you do put it into sport mode and you do put your foot down, you, you do get that burst of acceleration no noise, just instant talk, um, really, really comfortable, really pleasant place, place to be. So, here we are. Now we've found our charging point. It's literally as easy as open your charging port, lift the cable, your Type 2 charger, take your cable, pop it in, lock the vehicle and depending on the charge that you've got it will automatically start charging. Sometimes on a public charging point it will ask for uh, a form of contactless payment. Simply open the Charge My Hyundai app, tap it on and it will start charging. Now that it's finished charging, simply unlock the vehicle, pull the cable out, close the charging port, ready to leave. Well, the majority of servicing costs are, is, is not the labour, it's the consumables, it's what, it's the parts, it's the, the oil, the filters that are actually going into the service. Then there, there is no, other than battery cooling, there is no serviceable items on an electric vehicle. Ultimately, once a year when your vehicle is due a service, it's less to pay. It's lower running costs for you.
I hope you've enjoyed seeing what the Hyundai Kona EV has to offer now that we've been out for a drive today. To find out more or to book yourself in for a test drive, visit johnsonscars.co.uk forward slash Hyundai. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you soon.